Good morning and welcome to the monthly morning tea with Dr. V. Tomorrow is the first day of school for grades 1 through 12 and September 8th will be the beginning of school for our kindergarten students. While we know that tomorrow is Wednesday and our first remote learning schedule calls for independent learning or what we call asynchronous learning, it is still very important for students to log in. Tomorrow will really be more like an orientation and the first few days will be about getting accustomed to this new style of learning. Our plus part of our model will be phased in beginning with our students in special programs and we will continue to phase in additional students furthest away from educational justice. And what we mean by that is basically those students with the greatest needs. With that, I welcome you to this new school year. Synchronous learning is learning together in real time, whether it's a whole class or in small groups. This form of learning is ideal for deepening knowledge with teacher guidance or peer engagement. Asynchronous learning is independent learning that you do on your own, whether it is content that the entire class is accessing or it's individualized by a student. This form of learning is ideal for presenting new content or for independent learning like reading a text or engaging in individualized learning. So educational justice just simply means that we're providing each child with the resources he or she needs to be successful. And we really want to tap into those kids that have the greatest needs first. This is a great question. The school district is developing resources and points of contact for families and daytime caregivers. We understand that some children will be with their parents during the day, but many of them will be with a family member, a neighbor, older sibling, or with a daycare provider. We are reaching out to the daycare providers to establish relationships and support them with the children who are with them to attend remote learning. We are developing tools to provide these caregivers including families with information they need to support these students with remote learning. We do have a helpline that will be staffed both in English and Spanish. Please continue to communicate with your schools so that we can improve and adapt our efforts. We know that it will take time to get this right, but we know that we can get better together every day. If you still do not have your Chromebook or hotspot, please be sure to reach out to your local school and they can help you get what you need. Once you have this technology and you have technical difficulties, please be sure to call our hotline and that number is 360-428-6252 and they'd be happy to help you out. Thank you. The U.S. Department of Agriculture just announced that the summer feeding program waiver is extended through December 31, 2020. This is great news because now we can feed any child that arrives to our school ages birth to 18, regardless of where they come from. So breakfast and lunch will be provided at our schools Monday through Friday, and it will be free to anyone again ages birth to 18. They can go to any one of our schools to pick up the meals, it does not have to be at their assigned school and a parent or family member can pick up the meals for them. Meal services, times, and menus are listed at mountainvernonschools.org forward slash food services. If you have any further questions, again, please reach out to your local schools. A lot of our remote learning questions are on our district website, so that's another resource for you. Again, please call any time. We're happy to help out and understand, please, that our staff with the beginning of school are super busy, but they will get back to you. Thank you again for all your support as we learn together in this new adventure of learning. Thank you so much.